Today, we have a very fun agenda. I'm going to share my screen for a minute and do announcements. Everything that I'm going to go over today is on this shuffle card right here. I'm going to link to that in the, ch in the um, chat here in a minute. But everything we discuss is on this shuffle card. So you can sign up for Canva. You can sign up for send out cards if you don't have a send out cards account. If you want to make a card like this one here on my screen, that's called LFI Shuffle, and there's a link to learn more about it. If you have trouble focusing and getting stuff done, we are now sponsored by these drug free wellness patches. Uh, if you have a, uh, if you need to learn how to make a three panel card where the image spans across the whole thing, which I will show you examples of in a minute, there's a tutorial for that. If you want to make a send out cards gift guide, there's a tutorial for that. If you want to make a vision board and you send out cards for your vision board, there's a tutorial for that. If you want to make bingo cards, there's a tutorial for that. Wow. If you're in BNI and you want to make a passport to success, there's a tutorial for that. If you want to request a five day gratitude journal that I use to send out cards to create, you can request it there. Uh, here's the list of upcoming workshops. Here's how to invite friends to the next Thursday marketing coffee hour. If you decide that you love what you learn here today and you want to be part of our marketing percolator, there is the link to join. It's just $25 a month and it's weekly group coaching. And if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coach, I'm here. And here is some samples of the things that we are going to be doing today. So mm -hmm. I'll drop that link in the mm -hmm. chat. Do, 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 do. Okay. So that's what's on that shuffle card. That's exactly what the shuffle card is. And then after the class is over, I will add the video replay to this card. So everything you need will be on this card. All right, upcoming events. Next month, our topic is Google Business Profiles and we'll have a guest trainer, Stacey Atten, who is her job, her her profession is helping people create their Google Business Profiles. And if you have ever been in one of these classes with me before, you know, that I am all about Google business profiles, even if you are a network marketer. And then our topic in October is the one page business plan featuring Eileen Marcus. So that's what's coming up for the, the monthlies. And if you are part of Robusta, next week we're doing marketing platforms for your ideal client avatar. On the 17th, we're doing your sales calendar, which is my version of a sales funnel. The 21st is our Q&A, and the 24th, we're going to talk about nurturing your leads. And on the 31st, we're going to talk about converting your prospects into customers. So that's what's coming up in Robusta. All right. Awesome. We got a good variety of folks in the room today. So let's come up with some ideas on how you can use Send Out Cards and, and Canva in ways that you might not have thought before. Okay, so this is not your grandmother's greeting cards. So the first outside the car box card idea is lollipop cards. These were send out cards that are now lollipops. So I will, I'm going, this is one of the things that I'm actually going to show you how to do later. But this is a great idea to for engagement during a meeting is to send these lollipop cards. And then during your networking meeting, you can actually you know, be engaging during the meeting. So lollipop cards are really fun and they're super easy to make and send out cards. So that's the first idea we're going to talk about. Does anyone else have the lollipop gang song running through their head now? <laughs> we, we represent the yeah, lollipop uh, well, Yep, that one. Exactly right. that one. All right. So second idea that you might not have ever thought of is paper dolls. And right now, the Barbie movie is really popular. So if you want to capitalize on the popularity of the Barbie movie, you can do paper dolls. I actually found the doll and the outfit on Canva. So you can use Canva to make paper dolls. And that right there is in itself a greeting card. You don't have to do anything else to it. Another How thing cute for a birthday card for a little kid. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. And and the because the cardstock is is number one, it's got the gloss on the front and it's thick, the paper dolls will last forever. So another idea is to find uh you can and you can find not just cars, but you can find robots, airplanes, all sorts of these paper cutouts that that you can cut out and then model into something. So this is along the lines of a paper doll. So this is a paper car. So I uh, got this far last night cutting it out. 
<laughs> so I actually didn't get one mine cut out, but you can see that you cut along the lines and then you would glue it or tape it along the white marks. And I literally just Googled uh, paper crafts and I found cars. So you could you can you can Google car paper crafts, airplane paper crafts, robot paper crafts. I have found Star Wars paper crafts. There are so many different things that you can find that, that would fit on a five by seven card that can be cut out easily and done. And this is kind of imagine a Mary Kay consultant, right? Imagine a Mary Kay consultant sends this out to her entire team and helps them dream build. Your pink Cadillac is yours. That's what it says on the back. You could you could um, put a slit in the top of it so they could put money in it. Oh, that's a great idea too. For kids saving or something. That is a great idea too. And you can do all that in Canva. Okay, so that's that idea. Any other ideas for paper dolls or paper cutouts, paper crafts? All right. This one is a super fun idea. Take a photo, load it into Canva, and then Google, and then in Canva, look for puzzle, overlay the puzzle outline, and, and then send it out with a little note on the back that says, make your own puzzle. And then they cut it out. And because again, the cardstock is really thick. And so these this is something that a kid can do, or even an adult, or somebody. Okay, this one just came to me. Okay, so let's say Dai, Dai works with retail stores who are... Um, looking to, well, she works with retail stores. So she could send out something like this with the puzzle cut out and on the back of it, something along to this, this is going to help. This is the missing piece to the puzzle. This is, you know, um, let's get your business back together, put your big business back together or something along the lines, or, you know, send it to a kid, send it to somebody who's sent, just send it to somebody fun, or you could even send it to yourself and use it for scrapbooking. Because you cut out the puzzle pieces and put them in a scrapbook. So that's a fun one. If you're part of a, a group, you could design it so that some of the pieces are blank, like you do with a bingo card, like each card is different and have them come together to build the puzzle. Like they need to cut out their piece, come together and bring your piece. Oh, that's a really good idea. That's a great idea. Okay, the next one is, journals and crossword puzzles. So this is a gratitude journal that I created many years ago, at least five years ago. And it is a five day journal where you can list your things that you're grateful for over five, actually it's a six day journal and it has instructions on how to use it and a little link to listen to my podcast on the back. So you can create a journal with a send out card. This, I'm going to stop sharing the, um, so you can see. Th this is along the lines of puzzles and journals. This is a recipe card for Optavia. So on the front is a picture of the recipe and on the inside is the actual recipe. These are very easy to create with Canva. Mother's Day, this is, this is my pile of uh, puzzles and, and uh, journals. So for Mother's Day, I sent this card and it's actually the history of Mother's Day. So a greeting card can also be used to tell a story. My buddy, and I'm gonna I'm gonna reference her, Linda Longdon is my Shackley rep. That's Linda. So if you need Shackley, I can introduce you to Linda. She uses send out cards for her monthly newsletter. And she just takes pieces of the pre-made newsletter that Shackley provides for her and she puts it on a three panel card and she mails it out to over 300 people a month. So that is, and I have several others that she's done. So, and what I want you to notice about Linda's cards is they're not perfect. They're not perfect, but they're jam packed of information. So she just takes graphics that she gets from Shackley and she creates these newsletters. All right. And then here's, and this is a new product announcement. So just, she's talking about the new product and the benefits of the new product. And she, she really maximizes the, the three panel cards. And then one last one. So these are all, and this one includes a recipe. So these are all, um, all awesome ways to use the, 
to use the resources to use the resources that you have and repurpose them as a greeting card. All right, this is a fun idea. This is not a send out card and I have not made one of these myself, but I got this from a company called Brandless and it is literally a fill in the blank thank you card. So you could come up with something like this for your own business and send it as a greeting card. Isn't that a great idea? I mean, it's literally a Mad Libs thank you card. Uh -huh. So there's an idea for you. All right. This is an announcement card. When I switched from, remember when marketing coffee hour used to be every week and asked once a month. So when I switched from once a week to once a month, this is the announcement that I sent out with all the upcoming events, maximizing the benefits of the three panel greeting card. All right. And then this is a gift guide from a couple of years, from fall of 2022 of gifts from the send out cards catalog that you could just mail out and say, hey, don't forget you can get gifts from send out cards. Um, and the link to how to make this card is in that shuffle card that I shared with you. All right. And then the last idea is your vision board. And Wendy taught a great class on this and she um, that link, the link to, to Wendy's vision board class is in the shuffle link. So this is my vision board for the year. These are things that I want or places I want to go. Right. And I just put them on a three panel card and I use the maximum space of the card. Um, and the tutorial on how to make cards like this, where you span one image across all three panels is one of the links in the shuffle card that I shared, but I want a new kitchen. I want new floors. I want to fly first class. I want my front yard to not have lawn and just flowers. We don't have a very big front lawn. We have an old house. Our front yard is literally that big. <laughs> and uh, these is that are a picture of Toronto. That is a picture of Toronto. I'm offended. It needs to no, be British look Columbia. Very carefully at this. Do you also see a picture of, of uh, your town on this card? Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. I feel okay. better now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, and then I really want to take a ride or a stay a night on a houseboat. So, so places I want to go, from things here. I want to do. Huh? We could do that from here. Houseboat tour? <laughs> houseboat, a houseboat. Yeah. It's Let's four hours away, retreat. but it would be worth it. A houseboat retreat. And I want to go to more plays. I don't necessarily want to go to Broadway, but I want to go to more plays. So, um, and I'm going to, I'm going, I'm making this happen in two weeks going to Mount Rushmore in two weeks. Um, but I put it on the vision board because it always feels good when something has been accomplished from your vision board. So I put something on there that was already scheduled just to for that feel good. So that's a vision board. Um, this is your word of the year. You can, th this is along the line of vision boarding. This puts your word of the year on a card or ask people in your network what their word of the year is and send them their word of the year on a card. Send yourself your affirmations. These are all affirmations cards that I've sent myself over the years. You can even make cute little artwork. I mean, this, this is worthy of putting in a frame and hanging it on your wall. Affirmation card, right? This is my vision board from a couple of years ago. It's a vision, very, I had a very singular vision that year. Going back to puzzles, I missed this one, but you can do crossword puzzles, you can do coloring pages, you can do checklists, you do all sorts of stuff on the inside of a card instead of just sending a card. And I was gonna show off again that you can use all three panels of the card, of the inside of the card. And the tutorial on how to do that is in the shuffle card. So, and then the last three cards I'm gonna share before I start actually showing you stuff, you can send awards to people. If they do something cool, you can send them an award. So if you belong to a networking group and somebody's done something groovy, send them an award. And I realize I'm backwards, so sorry. And then uh, if you're in BNI, you can use, I have the link. The shuffle card is, Di, can you repost the shuffle card, please? I can. Okay. So the, um, this, if you're in BNI and you want to use the Passport to Success, it's no longer printed for you. So I created a template so you can create your own. And that link is in the shuffle card. And then if you want to engage your BNI members and get them to do more one-to-ones, you can play BNI Bingo with them. 
and instructions on how to play BNI Bingo and make a BNI Bingo card are on that card. So that is my samples. Now let's make a lollipop card. You ready? A greeting card is five by seven. So step one is you go to a little purple box in Canva. You go to the little purple box that says create a design. You click on that, custom size, change the drop down where it says PX to inches and make the first, the width five and the height seven and create a new design. Then you have a blank white screen and you can leave it white or you can change it to your branding colors if you want. So to change the background color, you click on the, the square and then you click on this icon over here, background color, and you can change it to one of your branding colors. So now it's my teal. All right, and now what you do to add your lollipop is you go over here to elements and you in the search elements, you click on circle and you'll see a whole bunch of different circles pop up. You can do a circle with a gradient. Let's do that. There's a, there's a sparkle circle. Let's do a sparkle circle. All right, so then you want to, um, you want the circle to take up as much space on the frame as possible, but not all the way to the edge. So what I normally do is I pull it over till it's 4.9 by 4.9, and then I center it on the page by dragging it. And that way it can be cut out. So there's a circle to cut out. And, then, and now the fun thing is to decide what goes in the middle. So then you, what you do is you grab your text box. Let's use the sparkle font, <laughs> right? Somebody tell me something that will fit on a circle that's inspirational. I want a single word. How about sparkle? What is sparkle? Sparkle. Sparkly. Because you, you're going to hold up the, you want to hold up the lollipop card to celebrate, right? So now it says sparkly. All right. And if I don't like that background color, I can change it to pink. Okay. And so then what you do is when you like the way you have it laid out, I, and notice I rotated it a little bit. Um, now you can download it and upload it to a greeting card. So we're going to download this image as a PNG because PNG is the best image quality that you can get for print from Canva. So I'm downloading it. Download it someplace where you remember where you... Then you open up Send Out Cards and you click on Send a Card. Build your own vertical because this is a vertical card. Customize flat card because you don't need it to be anything other than a flat card. And then you click on Image. You upload the image, you find it on your, on your desktop, which is in downloads. Okay. And so there, there's the front of the card and on the back of the card, you can say something like make your own lollipop card, cut out the circle and tape to a pencil. Right. And then, then the person receiving the card is going to actually cut out the circle and tape it to a pencil. And then I'm going to send this card to die which is because I know I have Di's address in the and us and Di better have a lollipop for our next meeting. Proceed to cart. Two minutes later. Two minutes later. Dun, 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 that's how you send a lollipop card. So I want you to think about your business that you're in. I love it. That's perfect. So what business are you, what the business that you're in and the people that you network with, how can you use that in your business? Oh my gosh, Ellen, when you're hanging out, Ellen, when you're hanging out in the common area, you could have a lollipop card that says, ask me about my patches. <laughs> Charlene's laughing. The thing that um, patches uses, there's a patch for that. That's true. You could also say there's a patch for that. Or if you, if you, you should be here, where are you? Where am I? You know, you, when you're out taking selfies with people, you know, there's all sorts of fun um, things that you can do with lollipop cards. I like the peel and stick. The joy. <laughs> That's true too. <laughs> That's true. Feel stick and share. All right. Um, what was the other card I was going to show you to make? Puzzles. Okay, puzzle card. So let's go back to Canva. We're in a. We've got a five by seven palette, and then I'm going to find a puzzle. Um, a puzzle template. So use the frames. Is are there puzzle frames? <laughs> yep. Okay. Get back to elements. Puzzle. Oh, look at that. That's four pieces. This is only four pieces. Mm. What I was going to do, this is what I was thinking. Yeah. Of doing. Hold on. Delete that. Um, so go back. Ooh, but you could put what you want to do on the front and put that in the middle, like in another panel. Well, let's see if this, this idea I have works. It yeah. might not. 
Okay, so we've made the puzzle fit the whole screen. Let's get rid of the black edge on the edge there, and the black edge on the edge there. Okay, we've made the puzzle fit the whole screen. Okay, so over here under frames, there was a puzzle piece, this one right here, right? So does this fit right here? Oh, look at that. It doesn't fit. Would it fit here? Why do, Why can't they just make everything work perfectly? Because they don't think about making cards like this. You see where I'm going with this though? Uh-huh. Um, I wonder if this background would work. Okay, position this backwards. Oh, this one might work. All right, rotate this. We've got to get it. No. That puzzle piece has all flat edges on the ends and none of those pieces mm -hmm. are reduced. So I don't think any of it's going to fit, unfortunately. Yeah. Let's look. Let's look and see if they have any more puzzle backgrounds. These puzzle, puzzle cards would be fun for kids too. You, mm hmm your grandkids yeah I always hey Candace those. yeah are we able to upload AI or SVG into send out cards if we share if we save the file that way you can save it as a PNG or a JPEG let's see is this one of these oh these puzzle pieces are more square yes those look like they'll fit okay let's see uh, the heads aren't all the same five minutes later so we've got the, we've got a puzzle piece We've got, let's, let's just come up with it. We're, let's just make a background. So let's go over to um, elements. Here are my search. Recently we used photos. You could send somebody the puzzle pieces, see if they put it together for the message. That's true. I'm just going to use this picture as the background. It would be something rele relevant to your business, right? I'm just using this, this picture here as a placeholder. But here's an idea. Okay, so we're going to put this in the background. Like I need it to match. All right, make the puzzle piece big enough so that people can see it. All right, and then yeah, elements. Nice. We're going to go to uploads and we're going to find a picture that I've uploaded recently. So I'm going to grab uh, this picture of this dude here and put it in the puzzle piece. Hello. Okay, Can and then so there's the puzzle there. piece. Mm -hmm. And then maybe rotate a little bit and then grab some, grab some text. Are you the missing piece uh -huh. or what's the missing piece? Or, I mean, there's all sorts Who's of the missing piece. Here's the missing, here's the missing piece. Oh my gosh here. So think about your business and how this might work for your business. BNI chapter. Pieces You're in a BNI chapter and you want to recruit somebody to your chapter. Okay, what other? There's ideas? so many things you could do with this. Yeah, I'm thinking because um, I have grandkids that are distant and um, a piece of my heart is, <laughs> is in California yep. or whatever. So <laughs> yeah, for that, yeah. you that's easy. If you're going to... Um... Two minutes later. Two minutes later. All right, so I'm just putting a picture here as a background so we can use the puzzle idea. So um, you just grab a photo, move it around. All right, so you grab a photo, send this to the background because I put the puzzle on the thing already. Deb, yeah. Canva has a two-piece heart that you could use for your piece of my heart. You could do a picture of you and a picture of your grandchild. That's oh. a great idea. So there is how you would make a puzzle out of a photo. You just layer the puzzle on top of the photo and let's make it white so it's easier to see. And then they would cut out along the puzzle pieces and make their own puzzle. All right, so that's, a, that's a, this is an easy one. All right, do you guys wanna do paper dolls? Yes. What else did we yep. do that you wanna see how to make? Okay, paper dolls. So add a page. This is a five by seven canvas. Just missed that. You go to elements and you literally type paper dolls. Right. And then you can find the paper doll graphics. So um, I kind of like, is that a boy? And there's mm -hmm. a girl. All right. So there's a boy and a girl. So you make them as big as you can. Right. And then you would probably do this on a three panel card and make sure that the paper dolls are facing, make sure the paper dolls are on the glossy side of the paper, not the, not the flat side of the paper. Right. And then add some outfits. So look for the outfits that actually have the cutouts. So here's a dress. Mm -hmm. Just add the dress. You can't see the cutouts because of the paper. The, the cutouts are white. So let's make the background tan. So you can actually see the cutouts. Ooh, let's make it a little darker. So now you can see that there's little white mm -hmm. cutouts and put it on top of the girl 
and then shrink it to, till it fits so that it fits the girl. She needs to, uh, it needs to make be a little smaller. So you want to make it line up correctly. So now it fits. So then you put that there and this mm. could be one panel. And then um, let's just put that there for now. And let's find an outlet for the boy. Um, oh, look, we can add hair, a different mm -hmm. hairstyle, right? If you want to do a different hairstyle and they can cut that out and glue it on. We'll make sure it fits. Right, so there, you can do that. Um, here's a shirt for the boy, or that's a unisex shirt, so the girl could wear it too. All right, so you can put that out, shrink it till it fits, and then put that over there. And then there's a pair of shorts. So those look like girl shorts. Now nah, I guess those are unisex shorts. Okay, <laughs> make sure make sure it fits. So the waist is a little too small. I need to get a little bit bigger. Okay, and then that's that, and put that over there. And then on, you know, so you would figure out what you want your paper doll to look like. Another page. So if, you, if you do a two panel card, you could do the front and back with the paper doll outfits. And then on the inside of the card, you would give them instructions, cut out your own paper dolls. All right. My kid's 24 now, but when <laughs> she was a kid, she loved paper dolls. She would Thank play you. with paper dolls over any other toy. And that was just 20 years ago. So I am sure that today's kids would be just yes. as engaged with paper dolls. I bet if you sent them to Dorothy right now, she would be thrilled. I think I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to. All right. So that's paper dolls. Um, Dress up dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. There are dinosaurs. You could also do, um, you can do, oh, let's, let's Google it. Hold on. I'm going to share my screen. We have only have two minutes left, but let me share my screen again. Because Google has everything, okay? So go to Google and put in dinosaur paper craft. Look at all these ideas. All right, this one is, look at that. That would easily go on a um, greeting card. I have a little tip and hack for some amazing, awesome images. If you go to unsplash.com, a whole bunch of great sources I love there. Unsplash. Do you think they have paper crafts? That I don't know. Maybe not, but. <laughs> Unsplash and Pexels are both fantastic places yep. to find paper craft. Let's see. Oh, there are. Oh, well, these are photographs of yeah. paper crafts. I want, I want the actual template. Printable paper craft dinosaur template. What's this? Oh, that one's cool. Hmm. All right, let's open that one. Oh, look at that. Okay. So this one would be very small, but let's download the picture. This one's going to be really, really small, but we could use this one. So save as, save image as, save. And this one doesn't even have to ta be taken into Canva. You could just go straight to send out cards, build your own. I'm going to send this one to my daughter. Your photo here, customize, flat card, next, upload. There's that image. Dun, 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 dun. And again, the replay will be added to the shuffle card. So let's make it a little bit bigger so that you can get the maximum. Um, oh man, you can't fit it. Mm. 11. It's going to be tiny little pieces, tiny little pieces, but there's all of them. Dorothy, see you soon. In the meantime, make a dinosaur. Uh, the funny thing, for those of you who don't know, my daughter's a paleontologist, mommy. Mm. So she makes dinosaurs all the time. Or plays with dinosaurs all the time. Proceed to cart. <laughs> <laughs> she actually works in a national repository. She's surrounded by dinosaur bones <clears throat> in her office. Perhaps at a later time. So that is, I gave you more than five outside the box greeting cards idea, greeting cards, I, greeting card ideas. I hope you, um, I hope you got some ideas that you can use in your own business to promote what you do in a very outside the way, outside the box way. And I'm hoping that some lollipop cards start getting sent to people because this right here is gold. The lollipop cards yep. are gold. They're easy and they're fun. And if you run any kind of online meeting, they're a way to be engaging. Or if you hang out in coffee shops, ask me about my patches, ask me, ask me about my <laughs> You know, or whatever. Ask me about. Ask me why I don't. Ask me why I'm not. I'm not constipated anymore, Kathy. <laughs> Candice, what does it say on the back of your lollipop card? Oh, that was the instructions on how to make it. Oh, okay. Oh, I yeah. thought you had two. 
I did well on this one. I have yes and on one side oh, and okay. question mark if you have a question, and then the other lollipop card. And some of you have received these in the mail because I was sending them out when you registered for Marketing Toolbox when mm -hmm. it was called Marketing Toolbox. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyway, that was fun. Let me see everybody. All right. We next month our topic is going to be Google My Business, Google Business Profiles. So I hope you come back next month and, and check out what Stacy has to teach us. All right. Yay. All the notes you need are in the shuffle card. See you guys later. Bye, everybody. Go cheers. <laughs>